What's up, guys? Leo Marquez 702 here, presenting another episode of AM702 Plays. And this week's episode, guys, we're going to be playing another good game, as, for, at least in my opinion, I'm going to be reading to you guys the text right now. Once, dragons and men coexisted. They shared a peace forged in wisdom. So yeah, you guys don't even know what the game is yet. Well, you, you technically do if you guys saw the title. A peace that lasted many generations. You like my narrating, guys? All that was lost when mankind disrupted. All that was lost when whatever. This balance in a sudden onslaught. Oh my lord, look at the dragon, guys. Holy crap. Man fought dragon in a savage war. That shook the foundations of their world. This is looking pretty bad. This war was called the, scour the Scouring. <laughs> whatever that's called. Defeated and humbled... This is pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. Dragons vanished from the realm. In time, man rebuilt and spread his dominion across the land and onto the islands beyond. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Oh shoot, it's getting hype. Oh my god. We are playing ourselves, guys, Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. So, oh my lord, it's been such a long time, or I've been wanting to do this game for such a long time now as for a showcase, because ever since I've been doing, you know, Fire Emblem on my channel, I always wanted to kind of show off the roots or the very start of the franchise. And yes, I do know this is technically Fire Emblem 7, and there are six previous games that were Jap uh, Japan only um, released for you know, previous systems, but today I'm going to be showing you guys the very first Fire Emblem game released in the United States, or just all around the world, so I am so excited to be bringing you guys this, um, this was probably, yeah, this was one of my first Fire Emblem games that I ever played, pretty sure, no, I think, no, my first Fire Emblem game was Shadow Dragon for the DS, and let me just tell you, that game sucked, but, um, yeah, I played this game when I was really, really young. I only was able to play it because my older brother at the time, uh, who I was, of course, living with, he had himself a Game Boy Advance, and he had Fire Emblem in there. He asked me if I want to play, or I think I asked him if I could play something on there, and uh, he actually had Fire Emblem in there, and I started to play it. It was just super fun. Even though I died, I think, or I got like a game over in like the second chapter so that kind of sucks because i had no idea how fire emblem really played since i was like really really young but yeah ever since then i've just been super into the series uh ever since playing some more games and now that i get to show you guys one of the classics in the franchise it, it's it's that time right now my boy so we're gonna do we're gonna press start right now i'm recording this on wii u right now because of course um what is it? The Wii U has the virtual console option in the N Nintendo eShop, and so, of course, you can... What the heck is this? Hello? Restart chapter? Extras? Wait. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna delete this one. So we're gonna go ahead and freaking... New game! Alright, let's do this right now. And I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit more quiet, guys. Just that, um... You know, the Game Boy Advance doesn't really have that loud of audio. And even on the Wii U, for the virtual console, it doesn't really have that loud of audio anyway. But, um, anyway... Uh, I got pretty far into this game. As for this save file, for my first save file... Didn't beat it completely. I'm still on Elwood's file. But I did, um you know, of course, know about the story and everything like that, so, very, very fun game, guys, I definitely recommend you guys play it, and maybe watching this video will encourage you to go get the game on Virtual Console, and maybe you guys will enjoy it, but we're gonna go ahead and start off the prologue, you are a tactician, tactician traveling across Elib. isn't that interesting, set your name, okay, sorry guys, <laughs> if you guys heard that, yeah, Riley's actually in the room right now, he's in the room that I'm in recording right now, and he's, he should be fine, you know, he's just, walking around in the living room right now as I'm recording this, so if you guys do hear some of Riley's stuff, yeah, he's just lying down. Anyway, set your name, birth, month, and gender. Riley, it's gonna be okay, I'm just recording. <laughs> Use the control pad and the A button to enter info. To start with the default setting, simply select new. Enter information? Sure, why not? So you know what? For the sake of memories, 
in my Fire Emblem Fates playthrough, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be freaking making... No. <laughs> I was not done, game. Jesus Christ, dude, you gotta let me freaking select my name first. We're gonna be putting in the legendary, the savage, the well-known Fire Emblem Fates avatar name, Kashe. So you know what? Let's do this. Wait. I wish there was another way to delete it other than just going over there. Okay, let's see. Where's the Y? Hey, all right, we got ourselves Kashe right now. This is great. And the thing that kind of sucks about this game, though, or, like, all the Fire Emblem games about, like, having an avatar, um, is that you don't even get to place your avatar or even get to really be in battle all the time. Um, like, you briefly get to be in the battlefield in, I think, every chapter, like, the beginning of every chapter in this game, but you don't ever get to fight. I mean, the only thing that the Avatar does is pretty much make the strategies, which is, a, you know, a really, really important role about the Fire Emblem franchise. Of course, you have to set up your units a certain way, but I mean, still, it does kind of suck that all the Fire Emblem games up until recently have been playable and stuff like that and actually had a really, really important role. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, yeah, start to finish. Are these the settings you want to use? Oh, heck yes. I mean, you guys already know. You guys already know how the deal is. Okay, let's get into this. Prologue, A Girl from the Plains. So yeah, if you guys are curious, I am going to be showing off also Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, as that is a very, very fun game as well. Alright, we have this mysterious character talking to us right now. Are you awake? Oh my god! Who is this? Oh, it's a girl! Ooh, yo, Kashe's going to get ready. And yes, no, I'm not relating to this Kashe as the one that we all know and love, if you guys did watch my Fates playthrough. But yeah, this is going to be a, a Kashe from a different dimension, let's just say. I found you unconscious on the plains. Did you now? Did you like what you saw? I would like an answer. Okay, never mind. I am Lin of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Your name is Kashe? What an odd-sounding name. Hey! What? Girl. I was gonna say boy, but you know, it's girl. But pay me no mind. It is a good name. Ah, thanks, I guess. I mean, I was just bored one day and I just thought of the name. Like, seriously, that's how I kind of thought of Kashe's name. I was literally just bored thinking of names for my avatar. I see by your attire that you are a traveler. What brings you here to the Sake Plains? Would you share your story with me? Well, I mean, I'm meeting a stranger, and I don't even know you, so why would I tell you my story, but... Hmm? What was that noise? I'll go see what's happening. Kashe, wait here for me. Oh my god. Yo. What is going on? Oh no! Bandits! They must have come down from the burned mountains. They must be planning on raiding the local villages. I... I have to stop them. If that's all of them, I think I can handle them on my own. You'll be safe in here, Kashe. You really leaving me out right now? What? You want to help? Well, can you use a weapon? <coughs> no. Ah, I see. So you're a strategist by trade? An odd profession, but... Why is everything to me odd to you? Like, what? That's so offensive. Very well. We'll go together. She's not even gonna freaking... Hey, there we are. That's my little sprite. Okay, you can see half of it on the screen right now, which is kind of weird. Over here. If you want to help, Kashe, I could use your advice. Advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. Unit information. Lin is the blue unit. The enemy units are red. Kashe, you are green. Essentially, battle consists of blue allied units and red enemy units taking turns moving on the field. You're only here as a strategist, Kashe. You will only appear during special events. Your job as a strategist is to place the cursor on blue units to issue their orders. First, select a unit. Place the cursor on Lin and press the A button. And I gotta say, Lin is probably my favorite um, protagonist, or one of my favorite protagonists in any Fire Emblem game. Um, my second favorite, I guess, would be Roy. I don't know, I'm not so sure. I mean, I do like Roy, but... I don't know, just Lin. <laughs> you guys already know the deal with Lin, yo. I mean, have you ever been on DeviantArt and freaking searched up Lin, bruh? Oh my... <clears throat> Alright. But anyway, um, not only for that reason, but of course, Lin is so independent. She is such a good character, um, if you guys actually just know about her personality. And she's just a very good unit to have um, all around as for fighting. So, I'm um, very excited to be using Lin. Of course, we're having only one unit right now because we start the game with only two people here. I need to be closer to the enemy. 
you have selected Lin. When a unit is selected, the map changes color like so. Lin can move anywhere in the blue area. Move her to the space with a flashing cursor. Place your cursor there and then press the A button to finish. Alright, sounds good. So since the game wants us to go here, we're going to go ahead and go there. Yes, this should be close enough. Yeah, so the first two chapters, I'm pretty sure, are just tutorial based. So that's kind of something you guys are going to have to get used to for this showcase video. I'm not going to do what I did in the last two weeks to where I had to cover like two parts of the same game. Since we did do Kingdom Hearts uh, 358 or two days. But I'm not going to be doing the same. I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Like I might do that every once in a while. But it's not going to be a consistent thing. Like this is going to be one showcase video of this game. And unfortunately it's going to be a lot tutorial based. But you know that's okay. Since you guys should um, definitely check out the game for yourself. You know like play the game for yourself. And find out all of the story secrets. But anyway let's continue. Uh oh that bandit spotted me. Uh, spotted me. He's coming this way. And here we have the enemy phase. Okay, let's get let's get it. All right, we are player phase once again. Let's close in and attack. Select Lin. Okay, if you'd actually speed this up, move on to one of the areas adjacent to the bandits. I have to be right next to them to attack. Really? I didn't think so. All right, so now strike. Select attack. Really? Okay, I didn't think I had to do that. So we start off at, with an iron sword. And if you guys don't know already, in Fire Emblem, or at least most of the Fire Emblem games, whenever you have a weapon, it usually has its own amount of uses. So, yeah, eventually, if you guys do, um, if you have played, of course, a Fire Emblem game other than Fates, you would know that um, if you use a weapon for a certain amount of times, or however, yeah, however long the weapon says it's used for, then eventually it will break, and you won't be able to use that weapon ever again. And in Fates, they kind of fixed that, be well not fixed that, but they changed it to where every we weapon is unlimited. But for regular Fire Emblem, or a classic Fire Emblem, you could say, uh, you actually have uses on how many times you can use your weapons. So, really, really cool. Or not really cool, but it's just really interesting. So let's go ahead and look at the interface here. Since this is on Game Boy Advance, you obviously don't have, like, two screens to look at. I mean, you, you kind of do. I mean, a Game Boy Advance has two screens. But I mean, you don't use this, the bottom screen. Whatever. Anyway, so we have our stats here. So we have 16 HP. The enemy has 20 HP. We can do 14 damage in total by doing 7 twice, of course. And he can do 10 damage if only he hits. He has a 39% uh, chance of hitting me. So this ain't gonna hit me. Let's be honest here. So you missed. Get the heck out of here. Get out. You have 6 HP left, man. And yes, we do have this nice... Simple battle animation, you know, it's nothing too special, but what? Bruh! He hit me, 39% hit chance, excuse me. Okay, okay dude, okay game. Oh, <laughs> I gotta stop voice cracking all over the place. Victory! But I've been injured, and I have need of a vulnerary. You sure do, Lin. So let's Lin! Oh my god, game. Can't do anything by myself, can I? There's another bandit over by the Gur or the Gur to the west. You don't know what a Gur is? No, I never really heard of the word before. It's a type of round hut. Many nomads live in huts like these. Hmm. I would do well to use this time to administer a little first aid. Move to a space marked by the flashing cursor. Okay, okay, I got you, game. I got you. And now I'm carrying a couple of vulnerabilities in my satchel. They should heal me up. Would you get one for me? No problem, baby. Oh, wait. Did I just say that? Open the item menu and select a vulnerary. Next, choose use. All right, so we got... Wow, what the heck? We have freaking two vulnerays right now. That's not bad. So we're going to go ahead and use that up. Let's go. All right, not bad. Enemy phase. All right. Since there is only one boss left... Oh, sorry, one enemy left, and it is the boss, he's not going to be attacking anyone since he has to guard his little fort. Thank you, Kashe. Now, let's go on that brigand. Let's go get that brigand over by the grrr. Grrr. All right, sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and face him like a man or like a woman. And we're going to do 10 damage. It's definitely going to hit because, of course, we have that nice 93%. Uh, okay, so he can do 10 damage, but only if it hits, and which is 40%. All right. We have 1% crit. Okay. Who do you think you are? You think you can stand up to Bata the Beast? Um, I don't know. I don't really know what to say to that. Yo, this guy's beefy. Oh! Bruh! Yo, this guy's beefy. Look at how much damage he did. 
Phew, he's tough. It all comes down to this next blow. Bro, are we gonna die? Kashe, if I fall, I want you to flee. You must escape. I love how you're completely trusting me right now and I don't even freaking know you. I mean, thanks for trusting me, but I don't really know if I'm gonna be okay with that. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Hello? Oh! Bruh! That nice crit, though. I have to say, the freaking crit animations, at least for Lin, bruh. Oh my god, they're so juicy. What? How? How did you? Ugh. And he's gone. He's out of here. Get him out of here. And we got our first level up. As you all can see, Lin is a Lord class, so, you know, since she is one of the main characters in this game. Yo, did you guys see that two defense? Jesus Christ, Lin is a freaking loose cannon, that's for damn sure. Alright, phew, that was close. I sorely underestimated him. Sorry if I worried you. I'll need to be stronger if I'm going to survive. Strong enough that no one can defeat me. Well, that's a nice mindset. Lynn gains experience each in each encounter. When she has enough experience, she will level up. As she increases in level, her abilities improve. Over time, she will grow much stronger. It's time to bring this chapter to a close. Select Lynn and move to the gate where Bata the Beast was standing. Um, select C's to complete Lynn's victory and your own. Sounds good, I guess. Let's do this. So we're gonna go ahead and freaking go over here and seize the throne. Good work, Kashe. Let's go home. Not bad. Hey, not bad at all. Let's go. Good morning, Kashe. Mm -hmm. Hello? Are you awake yet? Not at all. That fight yesterday must have taken a lot out of you. Say, Kashe, I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. That is true. Would you allow me to truth up? Oh, God, would you allow me to travel with you? I mean, I know why she said that I have experience in the war. I mean, come on, we fought like three freaking games of Fire Emblem Fates. I mean, let's let's go. We already know the deal. But anyway, this is like I said, a completely different dimension, um, according to myself. What? You you want me to go get permission from my parents? What, what's the problem? Oh, my mother and father died six months ago. Oh, look what you did, Kashe. You made the girl feel bad. Probably gonna make her cry, too, you freaking douchebag. Wow. My people. The Lorca. They don't... I'm the last of my tribe. Bandits attacked, and they killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. My father was our chieftain, and I wanted to protect our people. But I'm so young, and our people were so old-fashioned. They wouldn't follow a woman. No one would follow me. Damn. I'm sorry. I've been alone for so long. <coughs> no. No more. I will shed no more tears. Good, Lynn. That's the spirit. Oh, wow. So many dots. Look at all that, dude. You see all those dots on the screen, bruh? Ah, that's the spirit. Now the music's better. Thank you. I'm better now. Kashe, I want... I want you. I'm just kidding. I must become stronger so that I may uh, avenge my father's death. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't become stronger by sitting here alone. That's very, very true, you know? Kashe, tell me you'll train me, that you'll let me travel with you. Hold up, wait, I don't even freaking know you still. We literally just met and fought off bandits. You will? That's wonderful. Thank you, oh, thank you. Wow, I love how I have no say in this. They couldn't, like, ask me if I wanted to help her or not. That'd be kind of effed up, though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we'll be better off working together, I know it. You'll be my master strategist, and I'll be your peerless warrior. We can do it, right? We sure can, baby girl. I gotta say, man, I just love Lynn. Her personality is just so freaking uplifting and so motivating. You know what I'm saying, guys? Travel with Lynn, Kashe. Give her your aid and master the art of combat. Complete the task set out in each chapter and help Lynn in her quest. Turn the instruction window on or off by pr uh, pressing select. All right, I got you. And there we go. That is it for the prologue of this game. Probably going to be recording maybe two more chapters since, you know, that wasn't too bad. I mean, we're at 20 minutes, but I mean, still not that bad since, of course, we saw the opening and there was a lot of introduction stuff. The apprentice tactician, yeah, tactician, tactician Kashe and the young sword fighter Lin. A strange pair on an even stranger journey. 
to prepare for the long road ahead. They go to Bulgar, the commercial center of Sakai. Um, unbeknown to Lin, okay, knowns to Lin, she will discover something that will aid alter her life forever. Yo, why are these two guys just like right in front of her? Like, what is what is about to go down? But yeah, um, as you all probably know, if you have played this game, um, there are three stories in this game. One that, of course, you control with Lin. The next being Elwood, and the final one being Hector. So, it's a very cool game because, of course, there are three paths that you can go through. Kind of like Fire Emblem Fates, you know? It kind of makes sense. But, anyway, let's continue. I'll probably talk about more of the um, interesting stuff about this game later. Cache, over here! This is Bulgar, the biggest city in all of Sakai. We should uh, purchase supplies for our journey. Oh, my heart. What a dazzling vision of loveliness. Hey, who's this man? Hmm? Wait, oh beauteous one, beauteous one, would you not favor me with your name, or ber uh, better yet, your company? Whether you are from, oh, where are you from, Sir Knight, that you speak so freely to a stranger? Ha, I thought you'd never ask. I am from Lycia. I hail from the Kalen Canton, um, home to the men of passion and fire. Shouldn't that be home to callow oafs with loose tongues? Oh, yo, Lynn. Chill. Ooh, you're even lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Kashe. I have nothing more to say. Nice rhyming. Wait, please! Look what you did, you oaf. Sane, hold your tongue. Hey, put this man in his place, dude. Ah, oh, Kent, my boon companion. Why so severe an expression? Wait, boon companion. That means stronger, right? <laughs> that means stronger, because boon and bane... This is what you get from playing Fire Emblem Fates. Like, the first thing you get in Fire Emblem Fates is the freaking, like, Boon and Bane thing. And I learned what that was, like, shortly after. So, like, your Boon can- oh, Wow, good job, man. If your manner was more serious, I wouldn't have been so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sane. Yes, yeah, Sane. I know that, but how could I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? It would have been a dis- Discourteous. What do you know of courtesy? Oh my god, everyone's roasting on this man, Sane. Excuse me, you're blocking the road. If you would be so kind as to move your horses. Of course, my apologies. See, at least this man, Kent, is... Yeah, exactly. Lynn is saying it right now. Thank you. You at least seem honorable enough. Hmm? Pardon me, but I feel like we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent. I saw her first. Tisk. It seems there are no decent men among Lysia's knights. Let's go, Kashe. I've run out of patience. Dang, look what you two have done! Wait, please! It's not like that! Great freaking job! Oh, enough with the dots, please. Sane, you lout! Huh? Not like that! I thought you were... I am not you! Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be... Be what? She's our mission? You're joking. Wait! Oh, wait. So they're gonna- Wow, so they're really gonna capture Lin or something? Run! We're being pursued! Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood. Oh, hello, Macho. More dots. <laughs> Aren't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? Lindis? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. The things I do for gold. Ah well, time to die, darling. Come out, boys. Come on out, boys. Oh, that's what he said. All right. Oh no, there are more that I can handle. But I'll not give up. Hey, there she is. Huh? What? Hey, it's my boys. Oh, it's this man. Phew, finally caught up. Hold, you there. What is your business? Such numbers against a girl? Cowards, every one of you. You! You're from... We can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. If it is a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back, I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight. Stay out of my way. Well, I can't just stand here and do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us. Boy, you talking to me? You better say my name. Oh wait, he doesn't know my name. I'm stupid. I am Kent, a knight of Lycia. My companion is Sane, the stupid one. 
We will follow your orders in this battle. <laughs> I gotta stop messing around right now. Is this acceptable, m'lady? Riley's giving me, like, the, the most serious stare right now. I'm sorry, Riley. He's sleeping right now, guys. Yes, it is. Kashe and I will lead. Let's go. All right. Wow, there are a lot of bandits. You. You are called Kashe? Called Kashe. That kind of sounds kind of insulting. I want to impress my beauteous one. Let me attack first. Well, I mean, considering that I can do whatever I want as a strategist, I don't think I want to. <laughs> Direct them out in the field as you did with Lin before. Be warned, if Lin is defeated, your journey is over, as is your game. Oh boy, yeah, that's important, guys. So, Lin, since she has freaking two defense, and, yeah, is just not very, um, not very capable of standing alone on the battlefield... We're going to have to keep Lin away from bandits as much as possible, unless they're already wounded and we can finish them off easily. So that's what I'm going to be doing with Lin for the next um, chapter or two. If other blue units are beaten, the game will continue. But fallen companions will be unable to return to battle for the rest of the tutorial. Use caution and good judgment. So let me explain that. Yes, in Fire Emblem Fates and Fire Emblem Awakening, you had the choice of playing Classic Mode or Casual Mode, which is, of course, Classic Mode, having your units dying and never coming back in your game. If anything, they would just come back in some dialogue or whatever, but as for playing with them, you would never be able to use them ever again in the main game. But ever since Fire Emblem Awakening, you were able to change that difficulty, and if any of your units died, they would be able to come back in the next chapter. Um, being, of course, not able to play after they're dead, but next in the next chapter, pretty much. So, that's what Awakening did, but as for all the games before Awakening, every single rule applies. Whenever your units die, they are dead forever, and will never be able to return in your party ever again. Unless you get a game over, then you can start over. So, um, to begin with... Oh, to begin with, select Sane. Place the cursor on Sane and press the A button. Why do I have to select Sane? What if I don't like Sane? I really don't like him right now. So why do I have to select him? Attack! Move me to a space next to my foe. Why well, you gotta be so bossy, though? I'm not gonna lie, I don't appreciate that. Listen, you have a lance, dude. Do you even carry a sword, bro? Oh my god, this man has a disadvantage. Oh my god, you're so stupid, Sane. Look at your hit chances, though. Look at your hit rate, bruh. 67 compared to 76? Get this crap out of here. Watch you miss. You missed! Are you serious, bruh? Oh my goodness. Great, good job, man. You got six damage done to you. Whoa, I missed? Wow, you didn't think you would miss, huh? Sane, why aren't you using your sword? That's what I was asking! The lance is more heroic. A knight should look more heroic, don't you think? You are actually dumb. You're hopeless. If you don't take fighting more seriously, you're going to find yourself... Hey, I read that right. On the end of a blade. Very true, though, I'm not gonna lie. Truth be told, I forgot to buy a sword. Oh my god. Forgot? Or were you simply too busy dallying with the ladies? Oh, shots fired, my boy. Don't be so mad. I'll find with a lance. I'll be fine with a lance. I'm that good. You really... Okay. I'd prefer to rely on your skill, not your empty bragging. Oh my goodness. Take my spare blade and use it to attack next time. Are you sure? My thanks, Kent. You're almost at more trouble than you're worth. Almost. Wow, and we got an iron sword. Okay, not bad. So now we can, uh, Kashe. Allow me to make up for my companion's blunder. I am at your command. See, I like Kent, because he actually knows what to do. Weapons possess a unique hey, uh, hierarchy. Swords best axes, axes best uh, lances, and lances best swords. This is called the weapon triangle. Remembering this is of the utmost importance. First, let's illustrate what swords are strung against axes. Select Kent. Alright! Let's do this right now. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and move over here to this space. The enemy wields an axe. Use a sword for my attack. So we have, of course, the choice of an iron sword or an iron lance. And since the weapon triangle will be recommended here, we're gonna be using that. And although we can only do 9 damage and we can't double, we will still be able to probably avoid this attack. So we should be fine. Oh, that 3% crit though, come on now. And you missed, get that out of here. Wait, does he have a red sword right now? Wait, what is this? Why does this sprite look like that? He's almost defeated. Now, let's deliver the final blow. Alright, Lin, you ready for this? You ready for this, Lin? Let's do this. I must be next to the enemy, I know that. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do right now. 
All right, and since Lin, uh, Lin's speed is very, very good, and this guy is nearly done, look at that hit rate. Oh, my goodness. Look at that 16% hit rate. Get out of here, bro. Oh, boy. He's not hitting. Don't pretend like you're actually going to hit me. You're done. You're done, fam. Riley, where'd you go? Oh, my God. Riley's gone. Guys, can you believe this? All right, but there we go. Enemy phase. Let's do this. These guys are slow as heck. Oh, yo, yo, you guys hear that alarm? Sorry, I'm in my living room. I'm recording this in my living room. I still have to do my freaking setup video. I'm sorry, guys. I have to do that still. I'm probably going to record that soon anyway. Kasha, give me another chance. Fine, you stupid little. Yeah, but you lost HP, bro. I don't trust you. I really don't trust you. Axe wielding foes should be met with swords. Brandish your blade. Okay, then. Let's use that sword. 10 damage. Let's go. And... You still missed! Oh! Bruh! Gah! Sane, are you alright? Yes, yes I am. I was able to dodge in time. That doesn't even matter. Actually, it kind of does. I can't believe he evaded my sword stroke so easily. This is no jest. Wait, did I even look at the hit rate for my character? I don't even remember. Because maybe if I actually looked at it, I would have known about this. Look closely. The enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? You're right. I was so focused on attacking, I didn't see. Wow, really? Your lack of attention may someday cost you uh, your life. Fine, I understand already. Let it go, Kent. If you truly understand, then act like it. There you go. Kent put it... Kent putting him in his place. That is what we need right now. Kent worries too much. He's going to grow old before his time. You trying, you trying to insult my boy Kent? Each type of terrain has unique characteristics. For example, look at the woods and plains. Battle an enemy from the woods and they will... Oh, and the enemy will most likely miss you. However, your attacks will be unimpeded, giving you a distinct advantage. The same is true for foes. If an enemy is in the woods, he is more difficult to hit. Factoring in your terrain benefits and the weapon triangle is vital in combat. The window at the bottom of the screen gives you more information on the terrain the cursor is placed on. Check to see what terrain types is advanti uh, adv 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 advantageous by using the cursor. Did I say that word right? I don't even know. Now, let's put this to the test. The next Kent. Wow, you guys like my little list right there? That was fake, by the way. I'm ready for battle. Command me as you will. Okay. Let's go, Kent. Yo, this alarm will not turn off, bro. I'm done. Move me next to the enemy. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. That was an accident, okay? Calm down, Kent. Let's use my sword to attack. See, like, Kent has to literally do everything for this man sane. Like, he literally... Freaking, oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not even gonna complain anymore. Look at this. You see this? You see this saying? This is what you have to do. You have to be like Kent. Oh my goodness. All right. It seems like a wise decision to leave that... Bandit to the knights. Very smart move. <laughs> Very smart move. I mean, she can't even get to the... For my part, if I'm going to take care of the other foe, I'll need to be close distance between us. The knights said that the woods are advantageous, right? In that case... Alright, she's telling me where to go. That looks good. Let's go there, Kashe. Alright, I think I read that right. Wait, what about that guy, though? Wait, what about this guy? Oh, no. Okay, you missed. Get out of here, bruh. Eight damage, not bad. Oh, I thought he was going to double or something. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, no, get this guy away. Yo, to be completely real with you guys, I'm kind of scared. You, your name is Sane, right? Oh, look who's getting the attention now. Yes, Sane is the gallant man. Oh, Sane, the gallant man of uh, Salen. That's me. If you insist, why do you have not healed yourself? Huh? Hey, I've been injured? Wow, really? You didn't notice that? What a cat I am. I wonder what a cat is. Uh, to wrinkle that perfect brow of yours with t with worry for me. Uh, <laughs> yo, you're making this so awkward for Lin, you have no idea. I was thinking of giving you a vulnerary, but I, I don't really like you. It looks like you're fine, so never you mind. No, wait, I'll take it, please, I'll take it! Too bad, haha. <laughs> to give away an item, use the trade command. Trade can only be used by units that are adjacent to one another. Let's use that trade command now. Select Saiyan and move him next to Lin. We really gotta move him away though? Come on. Alright, fine. Alright, okay. Generous offer waiting. The healing power of love awaits you with Yon Angel. Hello? Kashe, tarry no longer. Shut up, Sane. I swear I'm gonna punch you. Now select the trade command and send blah 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 blah. I have to press B button and blah 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 blah. I don't really care. I know how to trade. Alright, trade with Lin. 
That's why she had two vulnerabilities. Wow. Place curse. I don't care. I know what to do. Okay. 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 We're going to be giving him... I, I kind of want to give him the crappy one. Actually? Oh, I can't trade it back? I kind of want to give him the crappy one, though. Because Lin needs more HP than he does. He has better defense. Whatever. Press the B button to stop trading. All right, I stopped. Sin can now use Lin's vulnerability to select the... Okay, select the vulnerability from the items and use it. Okay. So now we're going to be using that. Hopefully heal up all of our HP. And there we go. Not bad at all. Furthermore, mounted units have a unique ability to move again. Essentially, this allows cavalry to move the number of spaces left in their movement range if they have not done so already. However, the attack command, among others, Nilthas, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Ah, oh, much better. Thanks, Kashe. And you have my gratitude as well, my angel. Jesus, man. Dots all around for this man. Dots all around. That's all it takes. Jeez. All right, we're going to go ahead and actually put this man here, because why not? Mission goals change from chapter to chapter. This chapter's goal is to defeat all enemies, which is route the enemy in some games. Check the chapter's goals in the window in the upper right of the screen. To open the map menu, please... Blah, 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 All right, there we go. That's what he said. Okay, so Lynn is in range, and I don't like that, so I'm going to get her out of there, to be completely real with you guys. We're going to be putting her in the woods, since I just really don't feel as if Lynn should be in that dangerous spot. This guy is nearly dead, so we're going to go ahead and attack him with our Iron Sword. 8 damage once again, 90% hit rate, I swear to God if you miss. There we go, Kent. See, Kent has always been that good example for everyone else, especially this man Sane. But anyway, so this guy's going to move right where this man Sane is. Okay. And no, guys, there is no pairing up in literally most of the Fire Emblem games. Pairing up was introduced in Fire Emblem Awakening, so... Whatever. I don't want to try, I don't want to act as if I'm talking down to you guys because, of course, if you guys are watching this video or, like, if you were interested enough to watch this video, you guys would probably know how Fire Emblem works, so I should not be saying anything stupid like that. Anyway, this guy is at 10 HP. We should probably finish this guy off, so we're going to go ahead and attack with Lin. Let's see this. Okay. 8 damage. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and attack. Let's see if we can do this right now. Okay, don't hit me. Don't touch me. That's right. Don't touch me. Think twice about coming up to me. Oh, wait. I came up to him. Never mind. Okay, Lynn is at 80 experience right now. She has a very good opportunity for leveling up almost. So that is good stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have... All right, the danger zone's right there. We're going to put this man, Kent, right here. We can rescue this guy. So the, technically, there is pairing up. Um, kind of like the shelter skill in Fire Emblem Fates, to where you can, um, if you are a cavalier, you can use the skill shelter to harbor another unit into your arms and stuff like that, which is pretty good. Uh, I, I guess I can stand in the woods. I mean, why not, right? Uh, let's just wait. Let's see what's gonna go on here. Don't hit me, dude. Please don't hit me. Okay, he would have only done three damage anyway. It doesn't really matter. Come on, Zane! Never mind. I can't really expect these guys to double. I really don't expect it. Especially, let me check out their speed. Uh, how do I check out their stats? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this man has freaking six speed. You have four speed. Oh, all right, so it's not five higher, so it's not a big deal. I really do want to finish off this guy, though. I'm not going to lie. That could be good. Oh, but there's no terrain effect. Ooh. There is now. Um, I'm going to wait here. I'm going to move Lynn right here. How much time are we at? Oh my god, we're at 39 minutes? Dude, this is how long the tutorials are, man. That's crazy. Okay, then. Seven damage. We have 17 HP. Yeah, that's another thing. Lynn really starts off with really, really crappy HP. Okay, he missed anyway, so we're good. There we go. Nicely done, Lynn. Good job, my girl. Hey, all right. Another level up for her. Level three. Okay, so HP, speed, luck, and resistance. Wow, we got run one resistance. Isn't that great? All right. So if you guys do hear that music right there, that indicates or that kind of confer, uh, confirms that we are nearly done with this fight. So once there is one enemy left on the battlefield, that means that this music is going to play and kind of play like a victory kind of thing since, you know, we're at the end of the battle and everything's going to end in a few minutes. So that's pretty cool how they decide to put that music in there. I just really like this game in general, guys. Like, this just brings me back to when I used to play this on the 
original Game Boy Advance. Like, it's just so awesome, man. It's just freaking brings back memories. Very good memories. So, very glad to be showing you guys a quick little 40 minutes of this freaking game. So, we're going to go and attack. A curse nice. Oh, wait, wait. Knights always tampering in others' affairs. Is that a problem, bruh? 48. Oh, no. No! No, 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 no. I did not think that was going to hit. That's 8 damage, too. That's not good, man. He's going to attack me again. Miss. Okay, thank God. There we go, Kent. Let's go, Kent. All right, he has 7 HP left. What are we going to do with that? Let me check out this man's defense. Let, let, let's check this out. All right, so he has freaking 4 defense. Okay, that's not bad. I can I can take care of that. You know what? Since, since Sane doesn't really get that much action... Let's do this. You know what, Sane? Let's go. Let, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, there we go. And Sane gets the final kill. Wow, isn't that so freaking weird? Blast. There was only supposed to be a lone girl. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you trying to say, bruh? But with that being said, from the dead man, <laughs> we now have... Wait, his name is freaking Zugu? What the hell is that? All right, whatever. We leveled up with Sane. Not bad at all. And that is the end of the battle. Hey, let's go. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Kashe. Thank you, Lin. Ooh, nice artwork right there. With the trio. And now for these Knights of Lycia. Oh, wait. This is not a narrator. And now for these lights, Knights of Lycia. You were going to share your story with me? Yes, indeed. Yes. We have ventured from Salen in Lycia in search of someone. Lycia... That's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with the Nomad some 19 years ago. Some 19 years ago. Madeline? Or Lord of... Wait. Our Lord, the Marque... The Marques? What? What? Bruh. Am, am I in the game? That's my last name. Marquez! I mean, they if they replaced the two S's with a Z, that's literally my last name. Our Lord the Marquess of Salem's only daughter. I'm sh I'm shocked. I don't even remember this part of the game. I mean, I feel like I do, but I don't. Oh my god. He was heartbroken and his own daughter would abandon him, so eventually the Marquess simply <laughs> declared that he had no daughter. That's pretty that's pretty cold hearted, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty freaking mean. Um, and then this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It is said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Sakai Plains. The Marquess was, uh, ecstatic to learn that he had a daughter, a granddaughter of 18 years. Wow, so this girl's 18? Hey, I get, that gives me some, uh, good ideas, you know what I'm saying? I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. I am so bad, guys, I'm sorry. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. Ah, kind of rings some bells, doesn't it, Lynn? This is also the name of the Marquess's wife, who passed away at an early age. Lindis? That she should bear this name that thawed the Marquess's heart. Now, his only wish is to meet his grand or his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after, sending her letter. We only learned this by shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. But we also learned that all, not all was lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone in the plains. I I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Um, I don't know. You live in the Sakai Plains? Um, a girl of 18 years old? Uh, I don't know. Kind of rings some bells. I don't, don't you think, Lynn? And your name is... <laughs> her name's freaking Lindis? All right. Okay. Totally not me. Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say, but I never met her directly. But I saw her portraits in Castle Salem. To the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. But when I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. So you knew this all the time, you just wanted to mess with these two. That's very nice of you, Lynn. It's all so strange. <laughs> I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather? Lindis. I never thought I would hear that name again. Well, here you are. Wait! That bandit, he called me Lindis too. What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marquess's younger brother. 
Everyone assumed that Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made, oh, Lord Lundgren heir, or heir to the Marquess's title. To be blunt, milady, your existence is an obstacle to your grand uncle's ambitions. That's, but I have no interest in inheriting, uh, inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your grand uncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Salem. Continuing on this way is dangerous. It, I feel as if I have no choice. I will go with you. Alright, we got ourselves a journey, my boys. Kashe, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Kashe? You want me to decide? I have two choices. I have Hoshido and Nor. Which one do I choose? Oh, but don't remember. Wait, but remember, there is a third path. Never mind. I, I gotta stop making stupid references. You want me to decide? Of course, your companionship will do much. Oh, uh, would do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. Which path do you choose? <laughs> You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you. Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. All right. And that is going to do it for Chapter 1, Footsteps of Fate, guys. And that's going to do it for this showcase video, as we are already at about maybe 46 minutes. So I'm going to end off this video right now. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of AM702 Plays, and thank you all so much for watching this whole thing, if you made it to the end. I know that this was a very long video, of course not as long as last week's episode, but still really glad that you guys enjoyed this. Um, but if you did, make sure to go ahead and show your support and hit that like button down below, and also make sure to comment if you have played this game. And um, oh, for question of the week, make sure to answer what is your favorite Fire Emblem game and why. Uh, um, my favorite Fire Emblem game, it... I don't know, I don't want to be like a bandwagon player for saying this, but it'd probably be either Fates or Awakening. I mean, they're just, I don't know, playing those games just really made me just get into the franchise so much more. So, I mean, I gotta say either one of those two. If not, a classic game that I would probably say, most likely Sacred Stones. But anyway, I'll leave it to you guys in the comments below to answer that question, and I will talk to you guys next week for the next game to show off. But until then, thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies. Stay awesome.